<laughs> who would love to compete. You got Paul Lee, you got Chris Ross, Joe DeVance. There, there's from from every edge of the – any team will, would love to jump on here and compete for sure. We should get Jumar. Jumar would be hilarious on Pictionary. <laughs> Jumar Fajardo would be legendary. We, we got to get – we got to make that happen. Yeah. Awesome. See what I can do. East Asia Super League, the emerging basketball league for Asia, now brings you Ballerific, a new show featuring the best professional ballers from around the region, up close and personal. Welcome back to Ballerific, the show that brings you up close and personal, the professional and personal journeys of East Asia's top pro hoopers. As always, brought to you by East Asia Super League, the premier pro basketball competition this side of the Pacific. My name's Alex Olin. I'm joined by Banjo Albano. Our first guest tonight, he played a stint in NBA G League with Erie Bayhawks, affiliate of New, York, New Orleans Pelicans. Was a KBL Finals MVP in 2019 during his time with Olsan Honda Mobus Fevis, and recently signed a three-year contract as a free agent to join the Goyang Orion Orions this May. Everybody, please welcome Lee Daisung. Lee, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Hi, it's nice to meet you all. I'm Daisung Lee from Goyang Orions. I'm happy to meet the fans out in Asia. And thank you for having me here. Our second guest is a member of the George Mason University men's basketball team that made a historic run to the U.S. NCAA Final Four in 2006. The PBA slam dunk champion in 2009 the 10-time PBA All-Star, and two-time PBA champion in 2012 and 2016, and a long-time member of the Philippine national team. What's good, Gabe? Hey, Gabe Norway, another, everybody. Another day, another day. Thank you guys for having me. Um, yeah, it's been a long time coming, so it's good to, good to see everybody. It's awesome. Thanks for, thanks for joining us, guys. Congratulations on advancing to the semifinals of the KBL Cup. You know, how does it feel to get back on the court with your new coach and teammates? Uh, it feels great. It feels great. Uh, there have been a lot of changes, but uh, I personally look forward to this season. And I have known players or Orioles for a long time. A couple of players I met in national team. So on and off the court, we get along well. And Coach Gang is giving me, giving me a lot of advice on how I should play and giving me a lot of freedom. So I hope I can show fans fun basketball this season. And Gabe, you've been one of the most prominent figures in the PBA since you were drafted first overall in 2008 by Rainer Shine, the last of Panthers. Uh, since then, it's no exaggeration to say you've done it all in the PBA. You've won championships. You've been an all-star multiple times, a defensive player of the year. Rookie of the Year and even Slam Dunk Champion, as mentioned. What's one of the most prominent, I guess, memories you've had since you, you started in the league? Man, um, I think, you know, a lot of us have been around the game. Um, I'm sure we can all attest to just the, the camaraderie. A lot of it's not even on the court. Uh, I think it's the relationships you build. Um, you know, being a veteran now, the rookies that come in and the eagerness you see uh, for them to try to prove themselves. So I think... You know, the, the winning's great. The championships have been awesome and, you know, just consistently competing. But I think just growing the game uh, here in the Philippines, here in the PBA, has been, it's been fun to be a part of that uh, growth of the game here. All right, so this, this question's for both of you. Um, can you guys talk to me about your experiences playing international basketball and any moments that you still think about? Um, let's start with Gabe. Yeah, I mean, it, there's nothing like it. I, I'm sure uh, Daisung will say the same thing. You know, being able to represent your family, represent, represent the country, um, especially here in the Philippines, how much we love the game of basketball. There's it, nothing like it. But, um, you know, in terms of just particular moments, playing in the World Cup, no matter the outcome, I think I'm, I'm only one for, one for eight, I think, in the World Cup. But that one win felt like it was, you know, four or five wins all put together. It's the work that gets put into the, that situation to, to represent your, your country on the world stage. There's nothing like it. 
to me, like、uh, playing in G League against the faster, stronger, taller players、uh, helped me improve my basketball skills. Especially last year's Basketball World Cup in China was also memorable for me.、And、especially the game against Russia was most memorable for me. Even though we lost the game, it was a good experience for, for me. And I would like to play against the Philippines one day. Oh, we definitely love、oh. to see that. Yeah, yeah we want to、yeah. see that too. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a good time for sure. <laughs> So、Gabe, you've heard of the ESL、uh, league format that will be launching next season,、uh, a, a five-month-long format that the top teams from each region competing. What do you think about it, and how do you think it will raise the level of sport in the in the, in the region? Oh, it's huge. I, I think it's just、uh, the way the world's moving now. I think you guys have a great thing going in terms of. Really putting a spotlight on the region,、uh, on the game, and the, the talent that is, you know, in every country.、Uh, been able to follow, you know, from from a distance, from a, as a fan,、uh, and, and it's been fun basketball. It's, it's cool to see the the different styles, especially in terms of the pro leagues. I, I think when you get to the international FIBA type of event, you know, it, it's, it's played a little bit differently from each individual pro league. So to see those. Kind of matchups happen in, in different talent levels and skill levels and philosophies. It's, it's fun to watch as a basketball fan. So, Lee, wh- what about you? Talk to us about your experience playing against top club teams、uh, and other from other East Asia basketball leagues. You know, in the Terrific Twelve event last year in 2019. It was or、really、2018. Sorry, 2018. It was really great. There were not many chance to go against international club teams. Other than going to off-season training camp overseas,、and、so it was great going against top teams in Asia in offshore tournament like、uh, in Turkey Trail. It was also a good experience playing basketball in front of international fans, and the、uh, atmosphere was great too. I hope there are many events like this, like the Turkey Trail, and so that we can show that KBL League. And、uh, players are competitive and can perform as out in Asia. All right, so, so moving on to some life off the court. You know, Lee, your former head coach at Mobus Phoebus, he was once quoted saying that you gave up eating delicious food to improve your basketball conditioning. I mean, it looks like there's some food behind you, but is, is this true? <laughs> are you still are you still on a pretty healthy diet? Yes, yeah, it's true for a while that I only ate eggs and chicken breasts every day. But now I became a partially kind of vegan, and I try to stay out of junk food. I still don't eat any meat, and I think this helps me my body to maintain best condition and also help me to recover. So I keep doing it.、Yeah. It was rumored twenty or thirty eggs per day. Is, it, is that true? Yeah. Yes.、Yeah, <laughs> wow. Hey. Wait, just just like just you just drake them raw, or you like hard boil them, or what? Drake eggs with water. Yeah, that's it. That was my meal plan. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> that's some respect. <laughs> I gotta respect that. That's discipline on a different level, right there. So let's look back to Gabe. So Gabe,、um, Mr. President is the nickname that fans have created for you. Can you tell us about、uh, the origins of this nickname? Yeah. So I came out here to the Philippines in 2008.、Uh, 2007 was my first time out here playing in the amateur league before I was drafted into the CBA. And it, it was a nickname. You know, at the time Barack Obama was in office in the states and. And、I think my hair was a little bit shorter then, and <laughs> was, was compared to Barack. You know, Barack is a basketball player himself, and it was just one of those nicknames that stuck. It, it stuck for a while, and I think kind of just my personality and my role、um, with my team as a leader and a vet kind of just kind of embodied that whole that whole nickname as well. So it, it stuck with me. You know, I thought it I thought it would change over time. You know, I'm out of office now, and I'm kind of relaxing. 
kicking back, but <laughs> it, it, it's still there. It's still there. So, so Lee, we've, we've talked about your international experiences. You spent a decent amount of time in the U.S. You, what were your favorite things about living in the U.S. or or playing in the G League? And what do you miss about uh, about living in Hawaii or Pennsylvania? Oh, like, I just miss the Hawaii. Like, how it was the first time living in overseas for um, ex- extended time, but. You know, you can say anything bad about weather in Hawaii. <laughs> like to visit Hawaii for a vacation with my family. Sounds like you might like Philippines too. Right? <laughs> I love Philippines too. <laughs> sure. so, so, sticking on that note, Gabe, um, you know, Gabe knows a lot about Hawaii and Pennsylvania. Yeah. You guys That's have wild. Been- I was going to say the same thing. <laughs> you know, yeah, when, actually- I read this, when I read the script and I saw... Uh, Hawaiian Pennsylvania. I actually thought it was for Gabe, but um, hey, you guys again, uh, you guys share some commonalities there. Yeah, that's wow. It's a super small world. Uh, my dad, my, my Filipino side is from Hawaii. Um, my dad played college football at the University of Hawaii in the '80s, and then we actually I ended up graduating high school. My dad coaches American football collegiately, and I end up graduating high school in Central Pennsylvania uh, in State College, Pennsylvania. So we definitely have some connections. Uh, that's um, we have some we have some ties. <laughs> so, guys, now uh, we're done with uh, the interview section. Thank thank you for that. Um, I'd like to go on to our Pictionary challenge. All right. So here's your first easy one. Ready? Yeah. All right, here I go. I'm going. Go. Carl. Oh, yes. he got it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, Let's that was go. that was 16 seconds. 16 Let's seconds. Go. All right, now we're going. Now we're going to medium. Your second word. All right, here I go. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, Ben, you gotta help him out here. What's What do you usually eat out of the bowl with chopsticks? Noodles. There you go. <laughs> <Noodles>. Let's go. <laughs> that doesn't... Terrible oh, noodles. <laughs> I don't know where I was starting, to be honest. I don't know what the first attempt was. All right. All right. But that, that's not bad. That's not bad. Uh, at total time, you're at a minute and 38 seconds right now. Minute 38. So, <laughs> that's still not bad. All right. So we'll go. We'll go. Are you ready for the hard one? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. Go. Ignore the the picture behind it, the car. There we go. There we go. <laughs> That's looking pretty good. Ah, uh, so what else can we do? We got some. First day came. Oh, yeah. got it. <laughs> yes. Let's go, Lee. Right. Lee, that was good. Picture right, so t- champ over there. So total time. <laughs> total time is, is 2.13. 2.13. Two minutes, 2 minutes, 13 seconds. That's not bad. <laughs> All right. Well, let's, uh, Banj, let's do this. Let's, you choose uh, an easy, a medium, and a hard for, for Lee. And then right. me and, and then me and Gabe are guessing leaks. Okay, go. Basketball. Yeah. Like oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty quick. All right. Don't be at the goat. You'll, you got to give him something. a harder medium one then. 
right? I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, am I sabotaging this to where I win, or like, who, who's the winner? <laughs> exactly. the, get, the guesser or the drawer? exactly? Gabe, me and you could we could just not get the medium and give you the chance, <laughs> right? <laughs> All right, sending over the next one. Tell me when to go. Yeah. He's going. Okay. Uh, I have a feeling Lee's actually a pretty good artist. Yeah, I was about to say he's real fluid with these with these lines. So we got a. But this, I'm not sure about. Hmm. Computer. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, the heat. Man, you, two, you two got some chemistry going on. <laughs> got to be the. It's got to be the Hawaii, Pennsylvania, <laughs> right? I'm ready. All right, you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'll try. <laughs> yeah. That's a lady. Yeah. Lady. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Have you tried to call it Kim Kardashian? <laughs> 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 Am I right? <laughs> Probably right. I mean, you, you're not completely <laughs> wrong, but it's not that specific. Yeah, it's not Wait, good. if it's not Kim Kardashian, then it's Nicki Minaj? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's not specific. I'll just keep it at that. But. It's Those not two specific. Names. Yeah. One more. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> oh, baby, a mom. Yeah. There you oh, go. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I went completely the wrong route. Yeah, you, yeah, you went literally the opposite direction. <laughs> but oh, Kim Kardashian man. is a mom. So Dude, that's what I was thinking. Wrong. It makes yeah, sense. Exactly where I was. It makes sense. Oh man! <laughs> and, at the end, I believe Nicki Minaj is going to be a new mom. So you guys are kind of right. <laughs> exactly. There we go. Both points. Who, who that was that? a that was a minute and fifty seconds. Oh, Solid. okay. All right. Then I mean, we got to give the the win goes to Lee, but just only by twenty seconds. It was really close. With that, guys, that that concludes our challenges. Um, thank you, thank you for coming and competing, and uh, you know participating in the first ever Pictionary challenge, um, and appreciate your time too with the interviews. Thanks, guys. Pre appreciate the time. <laughs>